Schist assaults live in freshwater lakes in Asia, South America, and Africa. Their eggs are released into the environment by the feces of infected people. Schistosome eggs hatch once they come into contact with fresh water. At that point, they will seek out a snail and penetrate the snail's foot. Inside the snail, they transform into tiny worm larvae. These larvae emerge daily from the snail host. Schistos entering the water trigger the movement of larvae toward the surface. Attracted to the fatty acids emitted by human skin, Larvae swim toward their new host using microscopic tails. The minute larvae penetrate our skin in three short stages. First, they attach to the skin. Then, the larvae search the skin for a penetration site, often at a hair follicle. After finding a penetration site, the larvae then emit a chemical which dissolves human skin, producing a tiny hole they can swim through. In the human body, the larvae transform into adult worms and migrate to the blood vessels near the liver. What happens is the adult worms mature inside the liver and then they go out of the liver to mate and then they lay eggs uh, inside these blood vessels around the intestines. And what normally happens is that uh, these eggs go into the intestines and they're excreted in feces. What happened in John's case, two worms made it and swam uh, against the tide into John's brain and laid this large group of eggs uh, that grew in his brain. Schistosome can sit undetected in the human body for 20 years. And because it can last such a long time, it produces millions of eggs over the course of its lifetime.